Hello all, this is Ultimate Prime, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Optimus Prime Power Surge Warrior Class from the Robots in Disguise um, line. And this is the Toys R Us exclusive. Um, the colors are different from the other Power Surge Optimus Prime, um, the Warrior Class one. And so uh, we're just going to get right into the review on this one. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is, uh, you know, he has a different color from the original, and I'll bring him out in a in a second. But uh, he's white and blue, and uh, rolls pretty nicely. He looks good in his truck form. Um, and we take out the other Power Search Opt Optimus Prime. You see, of course, the differences are the color is different. Uh, you know, he's red and blue. This one is white and blue uh, with some red as well. Um, one of the biggest differences that you'll notice is the uh, wings. This one has a translucent color for the wings. Um, and even this area here has a translucent color. And if you look in the bottom, this part here also has that translucent uh, blue plastic, while this one has the more uh, slightly darker blue and more solid color. You see that underneath and at the bottom. So um, there aren't a lot of differences between these two. Um, you'll see a lot of the same uh, molding on the sides of the legs. You'll see that here. Um, pretty much the same difference. One thing that is different is that here he's got this sort of uh, whitish color here and he's got and this his whole leg here is solid blue whereas this one has more of these like little streaks coming down and then this part covering his foot is a white and doesn't match the color of his legs. So um, those are probably some of the biggest differences you'll see um, with these two. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and get him transformed, but I'm not. And so what I normally do is just pull these wings off here. And I have his axe installed in there in the side of his leg. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And let's pull this part off here and out of the legs. Oh, actually, let's pull this part in here out first. Not that I really think that that should make a difference, but just in case it did, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Um, this part will come off. It'll tab right in here. And this part here will come down as well and tab in there. And then you can twist the legs around to get him his legs facing forward. Then you want to split this top part here to get the arms out. And you can also pull his head out at this point. Pull the arms down. Pull this arm down. And here you have Power Surge Optimus Prime transformed into his robot mode. Now, um, before we go into the other things, let's just take a look at the articulation for him. Uh, his arms can kind of come in and out due to his transformation. His head can turn left and right a little bit. It can... Uh, look back a little due to the transformation but it looks kind of weird if you push his head down like that but he can sort of look up uh his elbows he can turn them here he can bend them up and down uh there's no hand movement or anything like that his hips here can move forward and back they can go up and down uh, he can rotate here this part of the leg and he can bend at the knee somewhat yeah he can bend at the knee pretty good so he can bend at the knee 
And he can also bend at the waist due to the transformation. Uh, his waist does turn and it has a pretty good swivel. Now, uh, he does have his accessories. So this part, which was underneath the truck in uh, his vehicle mode, you can put that right up here. And it forms like these little blaster cannons right on his shoulders. And these two things here, uh, they're kind of like swords or wings, depending upon how you want to use them. You can put them in his hands right here, and they can be used as double-edged swords, uh, which I think is pretty cool. That does look really nice uh, in his sword mode. So he can use them as swords. You can also pull them off here. And on his back, he's got two little holes that you can put them in, and you can turn them into wings. Back there. And that also looks pretty cool. So he can have his wings on, and he also comes with a axe. Uh, the X has no paint apps on it at all. Uh, the original Optimus Prime um, from the Robots in Disguise did have, uh, his X did have um, some kind of coloring on it. This one really has no coloring at all. It's just uh, plain black, one solid color. Um, put it in his hand, and there he goes. Now he has his X, and he has his wings. Now I'm going to bring the original Power Search Optimus Prime here. And you can see that uh, they are very similar, of course. Just a few different, um, not too much difference in, there really aren't too many differences, mostly just the color, actually. And uh, if you see him, like I said, like I was pointing out in the back, you know, his legs look a little different as far as the paint. Uh, he's got this longer blue part, or he's got like a more silverish part. And then the white that comes over here. And then this part here is just solid blue. Um, and then, of course, like I said, the wings here are a solid color. Well, these are more of a translucent plastic color. Um, also, the front, uh, he has a more translucent color here in his chest. While this one has the more solid color here. And that's pretty much it as far as any real differences that they have. So yeah, um, and similar to the way I did like the other one, I felt like it was an upgrade to the uh, original Optimus Prime from the Ro Robots in Disguise line. And I still feel like this one is still uh, much nicer, even with the different colors. Now this is the Toys R Us exclusive. So you might not see this guy everywhere, but, um, you know, if, if you don't have the other Robots in Disguise Optimus Prime, he would be a nice one to pick up. Um, unless, and if you just really just want to have both of them to have the different colors, I mean, you could as well. But um, I don't really see a need to get both of them because they are the exact, uh, you know, same figure, just with different colors. So, you know, it's really up to you and what your preference is as... Um, you know, if you're just collecting these or if you want them as toys. So, um, but that's really it for this review. Like I said, I'm not going to do a whole lot with the transformation just because I've already done it. But if you need to see anything about how to transform them, you can always look at my other video, which is down in the com comments. And uh, that's it for this review. So uh, stay tuned. I will be coming back with some more reviews and um, I'll catch you later.